the one who won the city with they armed and vicious. Accusations won them dogs and they all fictitious. I done been the real blocks, push the hardest sixes. Keep a couple killers that don't care how far them licks is. Look, just act like they want action, or they want action. Bitch, we ain't talking no action. I'm about to get them that traction, send a distraction. Then I'm a lot of like fractions. Break, I let them live, look at all them eating. But these bitches don't be. Oh my gosh, I didn't think the cameras were gonna be so zoomed in today. Or my mood board in the background because today we are doing another wig video, a wig install. This is how the wig comes. Literally straight off the package. It does have a bow on it, the box. And AF Sisters packaging is literally so cute. Let's get into it, get into it, y'all. Slides. Oh, this is the wig. Mind you, I. Mind you, I opened the packaging before. This is a full lace wig, 26 inches. This is how the inside of the cap looks. It's literally no tracks on this bad boy. So, it's basically lace that's like a 360 almost, and then like this kind of fabric material in the middle. Now, I'm not really a fan of this fabric material. I would prefer for the whole thing to be laced. But just because this fabric kind of just looks like, you can't really do too much with it. It just looks like somebody, somebody, somebody who clear color on the inside. And somebody gonna be brown on the outside. I don't know how that works, but that's just me. So this is everything that comes in the box. You get a wig cap, a edge brush, a handy dandy comb which I will be using to install clip I love duckbill clips because they hold the curls so much better than regular clips get some bobby pins and that is everything in the box so in this video we're basically going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I get my wigs to look how I need them to look okay so basically today we're going to go for a side part um kind of baby hair layers look curls you know me my regular geesh on a full base we're going to be adding a little bit of hair because she's a little bit thin um but yes i am going to be showing you guys how i pluck how i bleach and how i color hair down so let's get right into the video Okay, so right now I'm literally just trying on the unit to see if she fits because of the hair that I glued in. Um, I don't want to lose any elasticity in my cap. So that's why I'm trying her on. I'm also seeing if she is full enough and how she meets my hairline and all of those things. So she's looking, she's looking a-okay so far. This is the first wig that I've ever gotten. Frontal is the same length as the bottom or the bike. And I'm kind of upset that I want layers in a side part. Damn, damn, damn! So I did a rough flat iron on her. So 
that's why she is looking like this but i always do that just to get like the base or like the top straighter because my curls look frizzy so it's hot but it's just in turn. down the middle and we slice over her in and slice them a little bit more especially so i can get in these corners i feel like something is just like different about this lace so i just felt the need to just go in and make a few more slices on both sides right in here yeah i actually think i'm gonna do three layers normally i do two but today i think i'm gonna do three i'm feeling very spunky and fun okay we're gonna go into the second layer and then we're gonna go And now I don't do these like nice as long as it like spreads out evenly. That's all I care about going and spreading. And in between, I normally don't blow dry. The only time I blow dry is when, is if I feel like it's not secure enough. Okay, now that I have everything glued down, what I'm gonna do is use my elastic band and tie her down for 10 to 15 minutes. Now we've taken off our band, we are going to go in and do a cute little comb out. Um, I love to comb out the hair just in case anything got stuck to the freaking glue. Oh yeah, right here, right here, right here. Can you get it? Okay, I got it. Do my little comb out. Just take my handy dandy razor and we're going to cut up the lace. Honestly, this lace is really thin, so I'm thinking that's gonna give a cute little melt. See, literally that was so easy to come off. Yeah, this lace is good. That's a good lace. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between AliExpress wigs that we have in that hard lace. And you know, I frequent on AliExpress. But yeah, no, AF sister, hard lace, be chewing. Now, because I can't move on to the next step without sectioning off my side part. So what I look, how would I look with all my hair on my other? I am going to section out my side part and that will help me determine where I'm going to place my baby hairs. Look, I miss a chunk is missing. So, 85 years later, I have figured out my side part and I want her deep and dumb and over here. So, I am sectioning off all of this hair and I'm going to take my hot comb and really just hot comb all of the baby hairs going down. I'm going to start with this piece because I need her to come a certain direction. baby hairs sectioned off this might look like a lot to some people it is but hey you only live once so everyone knows i curl my top baby hairs going up and my bottom ones going down I'm saving this one for ticky tacky and we are going to start We are using mousse and hairspray. Um, the top of my baby hair so that I can like, it can be more flexible and move in the way I want it for the actual hair. Now I prefer a harder mousse and a brush combo because I just feel like it just, holds it better in my opinion just holds it so much better just so much better into the hair to make it look like it's one piece but that's like the trick with baby hair you literally cut as you go make some pieces shorter
I think I just cut a chunk out. <laughs> Everything's too long. Everything is too long. Now that my baby hairs are complete and I am no longer struggling with the finessing of them, I am going to now tie it back down. I am going to spray it down with this hairspray and put a band on and then we're going to get into hot combing. I saw this one video of somebody using um, spritz as whatever they were using it for to flatten out their lace. I'm going to try that trick today. See what it gives. Mm, so it's gonna cook me. Ooh. It looks pretty good, don't you guys think? It's turning out really cute so far. Um, this is how the baby hair and everything is looking like. Roll Instagrammy, roll me, but you know, you know, you know, you know the most bad. <laughs> so. I am going to get into layering now. Um, I kind of want to use the razor comb, but then I'm also like scared because the hair is on the lighter side, even though I did add a couple, you know, pieces into her, but this is how she's looking. She's a little on the thinner side. Like this would be cute if I was just wearing her in the middle part, but she's a little thin. She's a cute density for this length though. Layers. Um, I'm going to keep it real face framey. Not too anything too crazy behind the ear, and that's it. This is the Yeah, this is for finer hair, so we're just gonna start it under my chin. That was a real short one. That was real short. And that's how much I have. all of the hair in and curled to get pent up so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some concealer in my part and you know just really make her pop my old concealer I seen this one trick where someone was using their concealer at the end of this metal brush, so I'm gonna see how well I can do that to make her nice and coarse. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think I could do that. Like I'm literally just taking it and dragging it across. I'm gonna take a brush and do it because I can't do that. I can't do. It. I can't. Do it. I can't. Do it. I can't do it. Taking this. Take a brush, this old concealer from Tarte, and I'm just dragging the concealer in my part. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but my oatmeal don't mess up. You know what? That's literally it. And I dragged a little bit forward just to give that in, that concealer look in the front. Like damn, she need her move. Like damn, she need her move. Like damn, she in her mood. She lit, drum money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't you packing out nobody's pants? He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my bands. Like a million, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rum. Big boots in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a ten. She a baddie.